Hey guys, Foxbox90 here with a trade binder update. Uh, you have to pardon me. A lot of this stuff is either missing or hasn't quite been moved around yet, so it it's gonna look a little messy. But this might be the last one before I hopefully reorder my binder. Anyway, so foil, white sun. This is a the binder is not for trade. It's supposed to go in a deck. Foil, Mikaeus, the Lunark, signed and altered by Bebro Tech, which is pretty crazy. Uh, funny, altered. These are signed things, pretty much, that I got from people. Signed lands. And... Anyway. Um, and the binder. So... My last one I'm going to be... I'm just going to um, be a little closer so you should be able to see what things are. But... Uh, the skull bar is not for trade. Nah, the nath is not for trade. As you can see, the binder definitely needs some work. I have a foil one from the Graveborn also. I have a place that I've heartless summoning. Herbass is probably not for trade, just because I like the card. I usually put it in the foil, but I just stuck it in here for now. Sorry, guys. This isn't working, sorry. That's it for this binder.
starts here. Foil form, foil incendiary command. A lot of this binder is just EDH stuff, which is why I need to organize as a foil Hawkeye charger. Foil cryptoplasm. Old school ponders. Beast within is probably not for trade. I think I need it. Foil fresh meat. Foil fungus lower. The card of feast and famine basically. Early harvest card feast and famine basically just copied one of its abilities from Foil Malik Blood Witch. Foil creepy village cannibals. As you can see, lots of stuff has been moved. Most of the stuff you'll either know by face, or you probably won't need it. Foil Cloistered Youth, Foil Spare from Evil, Spoil, Foil Chancellor. Color. As I've always said, some of these are slightly moderate played, so I'll let you know when we do a trade what condition stuff is in before we trade. Foil Valley Maker. Foil promo avatar of Discord. Foil Valstone. Two 
two drunk Alex ones. And foils you can just ask me about. Um, then, there we go. So I have two Chandra the Firebrand. They may be in a trade, they might not, but they're here. Two snaps left. Other ones are in trades, haven't gone out yet. Well, one's in a trade, hasn't gone out yet. These I'm only trading towards my really high wants or massive overtrade, so don't expect to get these unless you have from my wants, particularly expensive ones. Then I have two guys to St. Taft right now. These guys have been going up. They're, I think, up to 18 now, and they're always really powerful, so obviously they're for probably for one cards. And Foil Seacrum Coast might be in a trade, but put it out there. Okay, my birds collection, which is ever growing. Foreign ones, foil ones, I'll probably trade for. Everything else, I'd just rather trade either in bulk or maybe if they're like old ones, I might trade for them. But basically, if you have modern ones like M12, M11, I'll probably just trade for them in bulk. Or they'd be good extras if you just have one lying around. I also collect Nighthawks. So Vampire Nighthawks, if you have them. I collect Go for the Throats. Foil and promo would be really cool if you have them, but regular ones are good too as extras. And land. Basically, the way it works with the collectible cards will be if you have them in bulk, I may trade for them. If you have them not in bulk, then I'd prefer them just like as extras if you have them. Um, so, land. So, yeah. So. Birds, Nighthawks, Go for the Throats, Full Art Lands, lots of options, uh, including the Unhinged ones, those are cool too, although those I might trade for. I'll probably only trade for the Islands and Forests, sorry, Islands and Plains. Everything else are just nice as extras. Then I collect Angel Fight Alabasters, if you have a foil one, that'd be cool. I collect Creepy Dolls, and I collect Grin Outlaws, and then... Uh, some foil rares here. If you have an interest, you can just mention. But probably not. And then I also have um, cranial plating, sorry, signets. Simic signets, Fire to Maya. I have other foils, but those are like some of the more expensive ones. And uh, I have a lot of foil lines. Uh, those I may be willing to trade. So, anyway guys, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for the little bit of a long video. I'll try to make it shorter next time. If you have any any interests, please feel free to PM me. And we can work out a trade, hopefully. Thanks for watching.